Suppose that $0.01 were deposited in a bank account on the first day of June, $0.02 on the second day, $0.04 on the third day, and so on in a geometric sequence. First, we're asked to find how much money would be deposited at this rate on June 30th. So speaking of geometric sequence, we know that we're being asked to find the 30th term, right? Because every deposit is a term on its own. The first deposit is the first term of the sequence. The second deposit is the second term. The third deposit is the third term, etc. Right? Before you find, let's write out the term. So zero point, uh, a, a subscript 1 is 0 0.01. A subscript 2 is 0 0.02. A subscript 3 is 0 0.04. Now the R value can be derived using any one of the pairs of the adjacent terms. So uh, we, we're going to take one term divided by the preceding term, 0 0.04 divided by 0 0.02. Or you can do 0 0.02 and divide it by its preceding term, which is 0 0.01. Notice that we still get the same answer, which is going to be 2. So the R value is 2. Once you find the R value, it's going to be easy to find the 30th term of this geometric sequence. So the 30th term, using the geometric sequence formula, you're going to take the first term, A1. So I'm just going to write out the sequence, A1 times R n minus 1, right? So this is the formula for the geometric sequence to find the nth term. So A 30th is going to be A1, and A1 is 0 0.01, that's the very first term, times the R value, which we just found, times 2, and then n is 30, right? So 30 minus 1. So that should essentially give you 0 0.01 times 2 to the 29th. And what I would recommend you to use in your calculator, first count 2 to the 29th. Calculate that using your calculator and then multiply the result by 0 0.01 so that you don't make a mistake with the order of operations. All right. So once you find that, you should get something like this. This would be the result. $5 million, 368000 709, right? So five million three hundred sixty-eight thousand seven hundred nine dollars and twelve cents, right? So this would be <laughs> the amount that you would be, be depositing on June thirtieth if you were to continue depositing in a geometric sequence fashion, right? If if you if you would do it in in the geometric sequence rate, your deposits would be uh, put into the bank account uh, by the geometric sequence rate at the geometric sequence rate, you would have deposited $5,368,709.12 into your account on June 30th. That's a lot to deposit, right? This is just the deposit. This is not the amount that you're going to have. The amount that you're going to have in total, the cumulative amount, that is, from the 1st uh, June to 30th of June, would be huge, right? Because this, this is what the question asks. How much money would be in the account? after this last, last deposit. So you're asked to find the sum of the first 30 terms of this geometric se sequence. Right? And just to remind you, uh, the formula that we're going to use to do that is going to be a different formula than the g uh, infinite sum. You, you recall one of the videos I've done, I've talked about how to find the infinite sum. Uh, infinitely many terms. Basically, you, you never know how many terms you have. Basically, all terms, like infinitely many uh, terms in the geometric sequence sum, uh, that's a different formula. In this formula, we have a finite set, right? We have a finite number, 30 terms, right? So for this, we're going to use a different formula. If r is not equal to 1, and this is good because r is not equal to 1 here, it's 2, then the sum of the first n terms is given by the formula a1 times r1 minus r to the n divided by 1 minus r. And keep in mind that a1 multiplies the whole numerator. All right. So using this formula, we can calculate this result. Substituting a1, we get 0 0.01. And then 1 minus r to the n. So 1 minus uh, 2 to the 30th, right? 2 is the r, and 30 is the n in this formula. 
And then this divides by 1 minus r, 1 minus 2, right? r values 2. Now be sure that you see that this is times, right? So this whole thing is multiplied to 0 0.01. So what I would recommend you do using your calculator is to place the parentheses mentally in your head. So you're going to calculate that first in your calculator. Then, the, then multiply by 0 0.01 and then only divide by the denominator. And the denominator, of course, is going to be, uh, is going to be uh, negative, right? 1 minus 2. All right? So if you do this correctly, you should get this result. 10 million 737,000. Four hundred eighteen dollars and twenty-three cents. And as you can see, this is much more than your your uh, in your uh, deposit on on the thirtieth of June. Your cumulative amount would be way greater, right? About two times greater than the deposit that you would make on the thirtieth day itself. So yeah, so this is what geometric sequence is about. The sum will always be larger than the deposit that you're talking about on any. Uh, day, even if the day is way ahead in, into the future, the sum will always be greater because you're just adding up all the amounts all the time, right? You're adding up all the amounts of the deposits every single day. So I hope this was useful and fun. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.